It's one of the great geographic centers of basketball, the Hoops Heartland, Indiana. The college Hoosiers are a program of legendary status, and the NBA's Pacers have left quite the basketball legacy as well. Once a multi-champion in the defunct ABA, the Pacers took years, decades, to make the NBA Finals, and finally did so in the year 2000. Their most famous player, Reggie Miller, was the heart and soul of that team, and possibly the most famous Hall of Famer to ever play for Indiana's pro team. Unable to keep the pace with LeBron, tell me if you've heard that one before, the Pacers went through changes early in this decade, and will always be remembered as the first team the Raptors beat in a seven-game series. With Paul George battling to the bitter end, Raptors fans breathed a sigh of relief like never before. George was soon gone, and the Pacers slunk near the bottom. Or did they? This team has missed the playoffs only once in the past eight seasons, and even that was by a narrow margin. And they look to compete for the top eight in the East again this year. Not only that, but they will be a tough first round out, much like last year and in 2016 when the Raptors squeaked past them by the thinnest of margins. So how did Indiana do it? Without ever sliding into the tank, Indiana rebuilt itself by trading Paul George when the time was right. That turned into Victor Oladipo's first All-Star season, as well as giving opportunity to Domantas Sabonis and some youngsters like Miles Turner. Corey Joseph and Bojan Bogdanovic have fit right in and voila, this team has never had to hit bottom. It reformed on the go and is here to stay. The basketball fans of Indiana could never be fooled, nor would they ever accept a below-grade product. And that's a problem for every team in the East who have to go through Indy and face them on the regular.